I want to share a scripture with you from the book of Hebrews. Now, we're not positive who wrote Hebrews, but I think, this is what I think, I think Paul did. Because I look at his life and the things he went through, and this fits him. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, you know, he was beaten, he was thrown in the sea, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. How could Paul go through all those things, those beatings and all of the torture that he took, how many times he was in prison, and he didn't waste his time in prison. He wrote epistles. So if the devil thought he really put him down, really he put him up. And so we have to look to Jesus that things that are unfinished, he is the finisher of our faith. We're going to see it. And then we see that he, who, for the joy who was set before the, him, endured the cross, despising the shame. Jesus despised the shame of the cross, but he endured it. You know, sometimes people, when I think, ah, oh, I have to endure this, this is so difficult, I think, Jesus is in me. And he can endure through me. And he is sitting at the right hand of the Father. That's what it says here, Hebrews 12, 2, of the throne of God. So he's very aware. He sees what's going on. And he helps me and sustains me to go through it. So if you try to endure on your own, it can be very challenging. But if you look at Jesus, that's awesome. So, Father, I just pray for everyone watching me right now that they would get their eyes on Jesus and know that they are going to come through with great victory. This scripture says it, Hebrews 12, 2. So, looking unto Jesus, where are we going to look? At the people? At the circumstances? Mm, the circumstances are bad. What people are saying? No, we're going to look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And it said, who for the joy that was set before him? How could he have joy going through the cross? Because he saw the people that would belong to him. Mm. If there's anything I know about God, if there's anything I know about Jesus, if there's anything I know about the Holy Spirit, is that he loves us. Put your hand on your heart. Say, I know he loves me. He says it over and over. And I believe it is for me. I receive his love right at this moment. In Jesus' name, amen. 